The Turtle Room, Education, Conservation, Survival. I'm new here. I've only been here about six months. And um, they told us about this project, and I think it was a really cool opportunity. I'm really grateful to be involved with this. Um, but I never worked with reptiles before. I never designed any tanks or anything in general. So I think uh, this, this whole process was really new to me, and I'm really grateful for it. I learned a lot, and I can't wait to continue learning. Um, I've been here only about a year. Um, however, I have worked with reptiles for over 15 years. I worked at a local nature center here and kind of ran their whole nature program, um, designing all their dietary sheets and designing enclosures and all that stuff. So that kind of um, was a learning process for me because I kind of got to do a lot very hands-on and it was just really me. So I did a lot of research and contacting people and figuring out what was the right thing to do for them and stuff like that. So it just really gave me a great learning opportunity. So it kind of just branched off from there. I've always had a, an interest in reptiles. I've had them since I was a kid. So designing the enclosures is something I've always loved to do as projects, you know, spending hours and hours finding the perfect rock or whatever to fit, you know, where I wanted it to go in the tank and everything like that. And so, um, it's just this opportunity came up uh, when I heard about it. Um, spotted turtles especially, it's always been my favorite native species of turtle ever since I learned about them actually at the center that I worked at. Um, so when I heard you know, we were doing this project with them, um, even though I'm in a different department here at the zoo, um, you know, I knew it was something I really wanted to be a part of. It's one of uh, the things that I really like about working in a smaller zoo, such as Beardsley Zoo, is that even though you may work in a different department, whereas a larger zoo you wouldn't be able to cross over to a different department to tackle a project like this, you know, um, being in a smaller zoo like this, you are allowed that opportunity. So it's something I really appreciate. Um, I was uh, allowed to come over here and, and help out, and so Eric and I have kind of teamed up and just worked together designing the enclosures, putting, putting together the diet sheets and everything like that, and it's just going to kind of be our project that, you know, hopefully with uh, any luck we'll have some success and we'll get some baby spotted girls. We consider this a holding exhibit, so it's, uh, it is accessible to the public, however, um, I mean, it's not maybe as easily accessible as some other exhibits or most of our exhibits here. Um, however, we did try to set them up, uh, you know, keeping in mind that there were going to be some display windows. Um, so we made the exhibits naturalistic for two main reasons, one for the benefit of the turtle, um, but as well as for the people here when they do look through the, you know, the display windows that they see these beautiful turtles in more of a naturalistic habitat. And so, uh, you know, keeping all that in mind, we kind of just, you know, design these enclosures based on all that. Here in the farm, we have the reptile house. Um, we have mud turtles, we have the eastern box turtles, and uh, spotted turtles, that's where we got these two males from. They were just living in the reptile house, so we got those two. And then being a zoo of uh, predominantly South American species, we have uh, Mata Mata turtles in the rainforest building. Um, we also have a common snapping turtle over in the um, uh, aviary, uh, lives with the alligators. And um, map turtle over in the research station. Um, yeah. So most of these species are exotic, um, so we have uh, uh, more species of exotic turtles than we do um, native turtles, so uh, the spotted turtle breeding program I think is definitely going to be a, a big success here and I think it will interest the public once, you know, I mean it's just, you know, started and it's just in its infancy, but once the public kind of sees everything that we have going on here and, you know, sees the turtles on exhibit and then when we get some babies, um, I think it'll really help educate the public and bring awareness to, you know, spotted turtles as a native, as a native species. Obviously, as a wildlife conservation facility, you know, we want to try to educate the public about these turtles and, you know, what factors are playing to their decline in populations, such as habitat loss, being, you know, captured for the pet trade and stuff like that. So, uh, we do our best here, like we do with all the species that we have. We try to educate the public and, you know, show them that these are wild animals and that they're not pets. So um, we do our best that we can there. However, I don't think we'll ever fully be able to um, prevent people or stop people from taking these beautiful animals from the wild. However, what we can do is educate them and do what we can here by captive breeding and possibly re-releasing and stuff like that, or maybe we can help counteract some of the effects that humans have on the ecosystem. For more information on this and other exciting colonian species, visit theturtleroom.com. Check back every Monday night for new videos from the Turtle Room.